April Fools, a day the entire world celebrates a day full of hoaxes and jokes. It's a day to take the serious out of seriousness. Here are some of the best April Fools Day pranks. Don't forget to play one or two of these pranks on your friends this April Fools. Amazing. Imagine your coworkers frustration if you made a garden out of their keyboard. Find a used keyboard that looks like your victims and replace theirs with the used one. You can get a head start and grow grass in it a little early and switch the keyboards, or if timing is too short, buy pre-grown grass and place it in the used keyboard. You could always double whammy your coworker this April Fools with a ghost typing trick. Wait until your coworker types, and instead of the words they're typing showing up on the computer screen, they'll get random letters. The trick is, you plug in a second keyboard and hide the cords under the desk, and when they type, you type in random words. You could also make them think their computer is malfunctioning by plugging their keyboard into yours, so what they type shows up on your screen, then type the same on their screen, while slipping in a few mistakes and jokes here and there. Another choice is to change the language to Dvorak or something similar, so the letters that your coworker is typing causes them to be confused. Get creative and you have a brilliant, simple way to wind up your coworker. Another prank for office fun is the paperclip photocopy prank. Just photocopy a paperclip onto clean paper, then replace the pile of fresh paper with the paper that now has an annoying paperclip copied on it. The first thing your coworker will do is try to scratch the paperclip off or search under the copier lid for a paperclip. It may take them a good amount of time to notice the real trick. Be careful not to annoy your coworkers too much though, or next April Fools, you might be the victim. You could always get your friends by switching the public bathroom signs. Change the men's sign to the women's sign, and vice versa. It's a really rude prank to pull, but the embarrassed look on their face walking out of the bathroom will be worth it. While on the subject of the restroom, sneak in there and tape poppers on the underside of the toilet seat. When somebody sits on the toilet, they'll get a popping surprise. It'll surprise them more than any splashback. Some people like responsibility, but most hate the burden of having it. So why not give a friend or coworker the responsibility of looking after a fish? Just put a fish tank in their desk drawer. All you need is thick plastic, tape, water, and a fish. And voila, you created a fish tank desk drawer. Perhaps you played the spider under the cup trick on someone in the past. Never gets old, does it? Grab a paper cup, cut a hole in the top of it big enough for a spider to escape from, then place it upside down. Put a warning sign on it stating there is a huge aggressive spider under the cup. To get an extra kick out of it, write aggressive tarantula under cup, don't scream or it will attack. Now put on a straight face, play into the act, sit back, and watch your arachnophobic friend freak out. Everyone needs a little glitter in their life, and most people love receiving a greeting card. But combining the two is the definition of annoying. Put a little glitter and confetti inside a greeting card, and you'll brighten up their day and entire apartment. With every piece of the hard-to-clean glitter stuck in the crevices of the desk, floor, clothing, and skin of that person, it will remind them how much you love them. Prank phone calls aren't new. They're just new, much easier ways to do them. The best thing to do is to go to prankdial.com, who have sponsored this video, and send someone a prank phone call. Their app is free and genuinely amazing, which is why we contacted them to sponsor this video to show you. Prank Dial has already set up many scenarios and was the first app of its kind. All you do is pick the scenario, type in the victim's phone number, and put in a fake phone number the call is coming from. The automated response sounds really genuine because it responds only when your friend starts talking back. It'll lead to some hilarious responses. Here's my favorite prank call to send, working in all its glory, as posted by a genuine user of the app. Hello? It's hello. Yeah, hello? Hi, stop using my Wi-Fi. Pardon? You've been using my Wi-Fi. I looked up your IP address and found your phone you number. You the f where, where, where do you live? Then why did your search history appear when I signed in? Where Explain do you that. live? What is this f***ing Boston, mate? Where no did you excuses. Live? Just listen up. How mate, did you even get my f***ing f***ing You a hacker. Don't f***ing give it, you little c***, because I'm already on BT. I'm not arguing with you. I swear Just to God, you f***ing I'm giving you police f***ing Tell me where you live.
Why don't you just set up your own Wi-Fi? Where do you live? I pay for that with my hard-earned money. I'll go get a and eat your You are a bandwidth thief. You're the reason the economy is failing. You me up. You are Wi-Fi stealing I swear to God, give me your address. Give me your address, you little Click on the link in the description to have a go. After all, it's free. However, you'll inevitably want more tokens. So here at Be Amazed, we've managed to snag you a sweet deal. Use the promo code BEAMAZED if you decide to purchase additional tokens for a whopping 50% extra tokens. Go ahead, send a call to everyone you know. This joke takes serious work, but it's totally worth it if you are low on morals and have a very dark sense of humor. This type of humor is reserved for the craziest YouTube pranksters. The idea is to fool your friend into thinking that they were in a coma for 30 years. First, go on a night out with them. While you're partying with your friend, have someone set up their bedroom like a hospital room. While your friend is intoxicated, have a makeup artist make them look 30 years older. Change their clothes to match the scene. Make sure when they wake up that the people surrounding them also appear 30 years older. Then give your friend a story about how they got into an accident 30 years ago and have been in a coma ever since. Their reaction will be priceless, but you'll probably have to pay for therapy. It's always good to set someone up to prank themselves. Probably the best prank of this sort involves shaving cream. Just apply some on the hand of a sleeping victim. Now tickle their nose or face to fool them into subconsciously thinking a spider or insect of some sort is crawling on their face. They'll slap themselves with a handful of shaving cream. For an even harder cleanup, fill a balloon with it and pop it on their head straight after. You could play this prank on your parents or the cook of the house. Boil a dozen eggs, stick them back in the carton, and then put them back in the refrigerator like nothing happened. Make sure you wash your dishes and clean up any mess you made so nobody suspects a thing. Next time someone tries to crack an egg for breakfast, they'll get an annoying surprise. This one might convince someone that they've gone crazy. Hide a radio in a co-worker's office or a friend's room. Then turn the volume on low and watch that person search for the voices they're hearing. Meanwhile, Act like nothing is happening, and when they ask you if you hear voices, act normal and deny hearing anything. Make them question their sanity. If the radio was not enough to drive the victim crazy, you can hide several alarm clocks around the room and set them to go off at different times. While I'm talking about clocks, another good prank is to change the time on all the clocks in the house. Just be considerate and make sure they don't get in trouble for turning up late for anything. Now, back to messing up your friend's time on the toilet. Put plastic wrap on the hole in the toilet bowl and hope the person who urinates there does not discover the clear plastic wrap covering. What a mess they'll have to clean up. Here's a good one. Buy a head and put it in the bed next to your partner. Position it on the pillow next to them and make the blankets look like there's a body under them. Turn the head so it's staring at your partner. Try not to wake them by laughing. Just wait until they rise and record their priceless reaction. You can always double up on the head pranks. Scare them into thinking you're a secret mad serial killer. Put a head in a jar, then put it in the fridge. Well, not a real head. Just make it look convincing. You will need some photo editing skills. Take two photos, laminate them, then after you edit them, put them in the jar. Once you fill the jar up with water, the head will look decapitated. Perhaps you want a milder, simpler prank. Just pretend to be a mannequin in a display window for a store. When someone stops to look, wave and smile. Imagine the shock on their face when they see you're a real person. If you want to intensify things, give them time to study you. Make them wonder if you're real or not. As they're about to walk away, knock on the window or jump towards the person. If a display window is not your thing, then maybe sitting in a box will be more enjoyable. Set the box on the sidewalk, and as people walk by, pop out. Another choice is to make the box look like it got mailed to your roommate or a friend. You might need a third person to help package you in. Wait for the victim to open it. But be careful the victim does not use a knife to open the package. You can also prank people by just texting them. Send a friend of yours who does not have your number a text thanking them for subscribing to a bogus subscription service like Catfax Magazine. Then proceed to message them facts and when they try to cancel, respond with command not recognized. Keep sending them annoying text messages, and your victim will think they're racking up a huge bill for something they didn't even opt to. 
Now this one is not for the faint of heart. Pretend to cut off your finger with the help of a modified knife. You'll have to prepare by doing some metal work to file the knife to fit your finger, but it will be worth it. Buy a round file or a rotary blade to cut down the knife. Make sure you use an old knife for this trick and pick up epoxy and red paint for blood. To make this trick even more realistic, you could stick the knife to your fingers with some weak glue. Act like it's really jammed in the bone. Don't forget the bloody tissues. Let's not forget mashed potato and black bean chocolate chip cookies. Mix up your favorite mashed potato recipe. Add a drained can of black beans. Cook it like you normally would for chocolate chip cookies. Then serve to the kids. They'll be disgusted at your cruel version of a prank. Who wouldn't want delicious chocolatey brownies? That's right, no one. Just tell people that there are brownies in the kitchen. They'll be excited until they realize that all you've done was put a brown E on a paper plate. Classic dad joke. This one is perfect for a friend or a parent who hates tattoos. Wait until your victim is asleep, then stick a tattoo on that person. Convincingly act shocked in the morning. Watch them freak out. For the best results, do this after a night of drinking and tattoo a Mike Tyson on their face to think that they're in the hangover movie. Do you fancy taking prank calls to the extreme? Host a Chewbacca Roar contest. Post a bunch of flyers in your neighborhood for a Chewbacca Roar contest. Put your spouse's or your friend's phone number on there. Watch them receive a number of random calls from the entire Wookiee homeworld. Maybe your partner cannot roar like Chewbacca. Let's see how well they like bugs. Just throw fake bugs in the shower or on the wall before or during their shower. For added effect, stick them on the wall around the shower spigot. Watch as your partner gets freaked out. Another classic for an increasingly technologically sophisticated world. Just buy a new appliance and on the counter, put a sticker that says voice activated. See how long it takes your victim to figure out the appliance is not voice activated. Or you could fool your friends into thinking that they have a virus on their computer. All you have to do is make a shortcut for their computer shutdown button that looks like the browser on their computer. Right click on their desktop and navigate to new shortcut. Now type this in the text box and click next. From there, rename it the same name as the browser, like Chrome or Internet Explorer. Now go into the shortcut properties and change the icon. And finally, switch their actual browser app with this one. When they try to surf the web, their computer will automatically shut down. Then they'll freak out, thinking that they have a virus. What a classic. If you're a teacher, this is a great one to get your class with. Just teach the class with no sound and mime. Pretend that you're teaching the class by moving your lips, but your students will be bewildered because all they hear is silence or their own laughter. So, will you try any of these April Fool's pranks this year? Have you tried any of them before? And how did they turn out? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.